Hello, welcome to ICT Trends and I'm Suresh Kanal. In this series of videos, we are solving model sets of a computer operator practical examination. And in my last video, I solved the uh, question of Microsoft Word using Office 2003, that means uh, Microsoft, Office, Microsoft Word 2003 and uh, Word 2010. And today in this video, I'm going to solve the uh, second question from the first set. Uh, sample set 01 and uh, the question number B and that question is from Microsoft Excel and uh, to solve this question I'm using um, MS Excel 2010 uh, if you are using Excel 2007 uh, these 7 and 10 are very much similar and you can follow the procedure as I demonstrated here and if you are using uh, Excel 2003 uh, you will find another video for that purpose before you start attempting to solve the questions, it's uh, nice if you go through the questions once. Uh, it will reduce the chances of skipping the questions or making mistakes. Uh, the question for Excel uh, in this set was like this. The first question number one, uh, it asked you to simply enter the data into the Excel sheet. And on the question number two, uh, you have to compose a formula uh, to calculate a rate. Uh, for a given condition and condition is given like uh, the, if the number of years is uh, less than five years and the loan amount is more than one lakhs then you will assign 14 percent rate uh, otherwise the uh, rate of interest will be eight percent and question number three asks you to calculate the interest for a given formula the formula is given as loan amount into loan uh, duration into rate uh, divided by 100 that is the formula of simple interest PTR upon 100 and on question number four uh, you are asked to uh, find out what should be the loan duration what should be the value for that loan duration if uh, the uh, interest uh, is 80,000 that means to get 80,000 what uh, value should be there in the loan duration uh, for this you will use the uh, what if analysis uh, feature of uh, MS Excel and the fifth question is uh, about formatting the sheet. You will apply a thick line border around the table and uh, a thin line, single uh, thin line uh, lines for the uh, inner side of the uh, table, inner side of the your uh, used area of the Excel. And uh, the sixth question is about setting the header and footer. Interest calculation should be placed as header, and uh, uh, on the uh, footer you will just apply page numbers so this is the question and to solve it I'm going to start Microsoft Excel uh, this is my Excel 2010 and uh, let me open a new uh, book here uh, okay uh, the first question was about entering the uh, data so on the A1 cell I'm going to type loan amount and on A2 cell I need loan duration D U R A T I O N loan duration in years and on the A3 cell uh, rate press enter on the A4 cell interest okay and go to the B1 cell and type their values 1 lakhs 35,000 uh, and on the loan duration 7 years and we need to calculate the rate and interest uh, and that's for the on the ne next question uh, to auto fit the column width so that the uh, truncated characters uh, will be uh, displayed you can position your mouse pointer in between the co uh, column header A and B when your mouse pointer changes into this double headed arrow you can double click on the mouse uh, to make it auto fit similarly on the column B and C also if you double click it will out of it or you can just point the mouse pointer on the border of the column headers and drag them uh, to set the column widths as you prefer okay uh, this was for question number one uh, apart from uh, entering the text the question also uh, expects you to enter uh, to save this file to save the file you will go to the file menu uh, let me maximize this Excel window now. I'll go to the file menu and then choose save as 
or alternately you can press F12 on the uh, keyboard to open this save as dialog box and on this save as uh, dialog box you will select the folder yeah, my folder is on the desktop and I need to find the folder with my symbol number so here in this folder I'll uh, place all the files and the name of file as question asked was excel and underscore your symbol number 9851 is the symbol number so click save the file will be saved inside that folder with that name so after you save it your uh, the task for the first question is ended that's complete so on the second question enter formula for the rate so that it will be 14 percent if loan duration is less than five years and loan amount is uh, more than one lakhs that means let me just I mean, uh, restore this window so that you can see both of the question and the sheet uh, here uh, there are two results mm, that should be uh, up here that should be displayed on the uh, cell b3 for the rate value uh, let me write it here i will mm, uh, compose the formula later on uh, the conditions are the loan duration is less than five years loan duration means this second row uh, b2 so if b2 cell is less than uh, sorry b2 is less than five years one condition this one is one condition and another condition is loan amount loan amount means the cell b1 and the b1 cell is more than one lakhs one zero 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 so these two are the conditions to decide whether the uh, loan uh, whether the rate will be 14 percent or eight percent if um, both these conditions are satisfied if both these conditions are true then the uh, the rate must be 14 percent uh, otherwise it must be eight percent so these two are the conditions and our result is eight percent and fourteen percent so let me compose the formula for this one uh, equals to if for the conditional uh, for the conditional calculation we use uh, if function because it uh, tests a logical test and then will uh, uh, will return the a true value or false value based upon whether the, those conditions were satisfied or not if you have only uh, one condition you can direct write the directly write the condition here but in my case there are two conditions so I need to join those two conditions with and we have and a function or or function uh, you will use and when you need um, both the conditions to be satisfied to give the true result uh, you can use or function uh, if your situation is if uh, when wh any one of them is satisfied you need the true result then you must use or in my case it is the and so and my conditions are if b2 is less than 5 comma that is one condition and another b1 is greater than 1 lakhs 1 zero, 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 zero. so these two are the conditions and we enclose them inside this bracket and join with and now it became only one condition for this if if this condition is true then the uh, rate should be 14 otherwise the rate should be 8 I have uh, skipped this percent symbol here because uh, on the number 3 on the question number 3 you are given the formula of the interest as uh, PTR upon 100 that uh, slash 100 is given on the, que on the formula so we are not uh, going to use the percent symbol here when determining rate we'll just uh, specify the number only okay after you type this uh, formula and when it is complete you can press enter okay the rate is applied eight percent based upon those conditions we specified uh, that was what you had to uh, you had to do for the question number three sorry question number two the question number two is also complete now question number three uh, calculating interest uh, to calculate interest the formula is given there it's quite easy now equals to uh, you should begin any formula with equals to symbol and then loan amount loan amount is our b1 this is one lakh thirty five thousand is a loan amount multiplied with you know, loan duration our loan duration is seven years 
so B2 is a cell for long, du uh, long duration and uh, multiply this with rate. rate our rate is 80% this is the B3 cell and divide it by 100 so this is simply the formula of PTR upon 100 the formula of simple interest and just press enter you will find the 75,600 that will be the interest for uh, 1 lakh 35,000 loan for 7 years uh, in 8 percent is interest rate so that was for question number 3 now I don't need this let me delete it you select it right click and choose clear the content or alternately you can select them and press Dell on your keyboard now let me see the question number 4 in question number 4 uh, change the value of loan duration as necessary to get 80,000 in interest so here now in the interest cell we need 80,000 and we are asked to find out the loan duration right now it is 7 years so when it is 7 years with 8% rate the interest will be 75,600 now we need 80,000 interest to get that 80,000 interest what should be the loan duration in years so this is something like a what if analysis what the uh, years if interest is 80,000 and to perform what if analysis uh, in Excel you should go to the data menu and uh, in data menu you will find a what if analysis button uh, under the data tools uh, group this data tools group and inside what if analysis we have got three tools Excel provides for what if analysis scenario manage, uh, manager goal seek and data table we are using goal seek for this purpose okay this goal in this goal seek dialog box you will specify three values one set cell remember always this uh, set cell must be a cell that contains formula uh, remember this if you place it uh, in some other cell you won't get the uh, desired result so set cell must be a cell with formula and two value in this cell how much we need the question asked us to get 80,000 80,000 and what should be changed uh, to get this 80,000 the question said loan in duration so what should be the loan in duration to get this 80,000 so point your mouse click here inside by uh, inside this by changing cell box and click on the loan duration cell that is B2 after you uh, complete, uh, fill, complete filling up these three boxes you can click on OK see now uh, Excel has calculated and found the correct value of loan duration to get 80,000 uh, the value display is 7.407 so if this is the loan duration in years with 8% interest rate you will get 80,000 so when it is correct you can just click OK uh, this was the solution for the question number uh, 4 uh, we have done this question number 4 complete now for question number 5 apply thick line border around the table and single line for the inner lines now to solve this question uh, select your data area your table and then go to the home ribbon the most frequently co used commands are uh, uh, placed on the home ribbon and in home ribbon under this font group you will find a border tool uh, click this small arrow down facing by arrow button to open the list we have got different uh, style of borders here we need thick border outside and thin border inside but uh, if you apply thick border first and then a thin borders all borders then the thick border will be overwritten so first of all we will apply thin borders inside that means the thin line border is applied all around the cell and inside the cells uh, sorry inside the table uh, select it again and go to the borders tool and now choose thick border thick box border for the outside so if you do it this way then you will find a thick line border around the table and thin line border for the lines inside the table that was what your question asked on this question number f uh, five that was a one marks question applying the borders now finally the question number six enter interest calculation 
as header and set page number as the bottom center of page. So interest calculation as header. To apply header, let's go to the Excel. And here you can find this command under insert uh, tab in the ribbon and go to the header and footer button, click it. Uh, Excel will uh, switch in the view into the header footer view. You can see uh, the cursor blinking on the header area as well as you can see the design tab of the header and footer tools uh, fronted on the ribbon. So here you will type the header. What was the text asked to enter in the as header? Interest calculation. Okay, type your interest calculation and on the footer it asks us to display page number so to go to the footer uh, look at the ribbon there's a button go to footer so click on this button your cursor will jump to the footer and now this is the uh, bottom middle bottom center so this was place what the question asked we came there very correctly pa set page numbers at the bottom center of page so we are in the bottom center of the page and here we will display page number to insert page number uh, on the header footer tools design tab go to page number button click this button once it will display there the uh, code for page number field code for code uh, page number and that's all you can click on the sales uh, outside that header footer box it will return you the page number displayed on the bottom center and the interest calculus is displayed at the uh, top center as a header so that's way, that way we have set the header and footer on our actual sheet well that's all it was what the question asked now finally don't forget to save your file once again because you saved it only when you complete the first question now after you have added so many things and completed all the questions you uh, should save it go to the quick launch uh, toolbar on the office and click the save button alternately you can open the file menu and choose save button here or press ctrl s on your keyboard uh, to save now you can close excel and your task is complete uh, that all, that's all for solving this question number um, b actual from the uh, uh, sample model question sets and Thank you for watching.